This is Dave, the guru, and another tutorial using Game Salad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage your IAP or in app purchase in your game and how to execute it across the different areas from iTunes, Connect, to the Apple Developer Portal, and then on to sandboxing in your device. So, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to go to need to the developer section of Apple. And we're going to go to Home. And then we're going to go to Manage Your Certificates. And we're going to go into Identifiers as we're going to make our App ID, which identifies our application. Now, this App ID that I'm making is actually going to be for our iPhone version of our game Pocket. And since we want to chart our in app purchases and our downloads of our iPhone game versus our iPad game, we didn't make this a universal app. So which means we need a different app ID so that we can track everything separately. So we're going to go head up to the plus icon and we're going to add our new app ID. So we're going to come down here and we're going to make our app description name, which is just basically our reference of what this app ID serves. So I'm going to call this Pocket Pocket Edition. Now we're going to come down and we're going to see that Game Center and In-App Purchase is already selected for us. That's good. We don't want to have iCloud or any of these other things selected because Game Salad doesn't have access to this and you'll get blowback from Apple when you go to submit your device if you click any of these other things. So you want to stay away from that. Now this is where we make our explicit app ID which is what we're going to be referencing elsewhere in Apple software in iTunes Connect and when we publish out. So mine, of course, is com, frying bacon, and then we're going to call this dot pocket, P-E, short for pocket edition. Now make sure that when you're making your bundle ID that you write it down and that since Apple is built off a Unix environment, you need to make sure you pay attention to any capital letters or anything and stay away from special characters. I tend to use all lowercase that way I don't get confused. Nobody ever sees this, so I wouldn't really worry about how you form it. So now you see we've made our app ID, okay? And Game Center is enabled. We're not going to go through this in this video, but I will eventually use it. And our in-app purchase is enabled. So let's just go ahead and submit it. And our registration is now complete. We're done. So now we can go ahead and go away from all this section. We're done with that for now. If you want to have your um, uh, provisioning profile all set up for that, you know how to do all that. I'm not going to walk through that, download it so you can test it and all that kind of stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to iTunes Connect. And in iTunes Connect, we're going to go into managing your applications. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add a new app. So we're going to come up here and we're going to add a new app. And the default is English. And our app name is Pocket, Pocket Edition. And our SQ number is going to be Pocket Lost Oasis Pocket ed Pocket Edition. And then we're going to come down and now we've got our app ID. We can go ahead and select it. This is why it's important that we make that first. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit continue. And then what we're going to do is the availability date. We're just going to go ahead and push it out a while. And our price tier will be free. And then we're going to go ahead and continue. And so now we're going to begin to go through all our different information on how to make our app. And our uploads on all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all this out. And then I'm going to get back and with you. And because you know how to do all this stuff. And then we'll get into the app IP stuff. Into the IAP stuff. So. I'll be right back. All right, so now that we've managed all that other stuff, let's go ahead into our new 
app that we've generated. And we're going to go into Manage In-App Purchases. And since we don't have any set up, we're going to create a new one. And I'm going to be doing non-consumables. There are other information on setting up your consumables. Uh, we're just going to be going through the whole process. So now let's just go right down the line. The first thing that we're going to do is set up our reference name. This will be what gets displayed in your charts and, and your sales figures. So we're going to call this Pocket, Pocket Edition Adds Off. That's what I'm creating. So now let's go ahead and create the product ID. And this is what you'll be entering into your game salad uh, behaviors information so now this cannot be duplicated across any other application you have this ID so I'm gonna use something similar to what I have in my other one but I'm gonna add a few other reference characters to distinguish it now this is also case sensitive so remember if you put cases in there we're gonna go pocket pocket edition adds off all right and we're done with we're good with that oh, I don't want that I want to enter and we're gonna say keep this cleared for sale yes because if you turn this off then you won't be able to test in sandbox I'm just gonna go tier one that's my pricing matrix 99 cents so now what we're gonna do is we need to add a language so we're gonna go ahead and say English and this is what's going to be displayed when the user gets that pop-up box, the sign-in box to make the purchase. So we're going to call this Turn Ads Off. And then we're going to add a description. I'll modify this later. This will also show up in the box where you can give a description about what they're buying. So I'm just going to put this turns off ads. Now you can modify this later on before you submit your binary. It's all editable until you submit your binary. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at is hosting content with Apple. We're doing just straight Boolean or attribute changes. We have no content. In other words, if we were providing some kind of image or some kind of thing like that that's actually a physical file, we would need to host our content with Apple um, because we don't have access to external servers in Game Salad. But we're not doing any of that. When you purchase something here, you don't download anything. Um, there's nothing downloadable to restore. We're just doing attribute changes. So we don't need to do anything with that. Review notes, if you've got something specific you want to say to the reviewer, um, that's fine. Put that in there. And we're gonna we're gonna also uh, put a screenshot of our what our store stuff kind of looks like. So you can put your whole store up there, whatever. Just make sure you at least meet this minimum size requirement. And you can it, nobody sees this other than the reviewers. So if it's stretched out like mine to get it to work on that and whatever, don't worry. But no, you don't have to get all finicky about it. They just want to see how you're presenting your purchases so that you're not trying to cheat people so now that we've got all that in there for now we're gonna go ahead and save it and you can see we've got our our consumable non-consumable all that it's ready to uh, be submitted okay so now that we've done that I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and make another one you don't need to see that we've already made one and then we'll uh, we'll come back all right, so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead into our app again. And we're going to go ahead and click here. And then we're going to come down and we're going to edit our in-app purchases. And we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and put save. All right, so now you're going to see our, our in-app purchases are in there. They're, they're ready for review. This will get everything uh, copacetic and ready to go we're not going to upload our binary yet so we're just going to go and back out of this and as you'll see when I go back in they're still set up alright so that's that's pretty much all you need to know in working with uh, 
getting everything set up on Apple's end to test and so now probably in the next video I'm gonna stop this video here uh, we're gonna look at setting it up on the device and then testing it you can find me on the forums under the name Lost Oasis Games this is Dave the guru I'll see you in the next video